All right, welcome back. This is MDog. Just a short video here, Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Uh, just want to kind of walk through the uh, what it appears as though feeder fishing could be like. Um, and I don't actually know how long feeder fishing has been in the game. It may have been in the game since the start of this playtesting session. Uh, what finally, if you watched my last video, when I finally realized that this was a possibility was, uh, when, uh, my line broke off and then I started seeing that it was giving me other options for equipping stuff. So, um, how you do it is if, if you see here on the left side, there's these, these, um, these arrows. If you click that, you can reset the element. So we still have our spin fishing, our float fishing, and now we have uh, a set that we're gonna put together where, and we're using the free rod and reel that you can get additional ones out of the store. We're using 3.2 mono line, and then we're skipping these. So you, currently you can't buy leaders from the store. So I don't have a leader for this, but we'll still make it work. And then we're gonna go to our 100 gram feeder. Now there's no ground bait or anything, I don't know if they're planning on adding. I, I assume they are, but you can go ahead and put a hook on. So we'll put a size 12 hook on. And because I tested it just to make sure it seemed like it had a chance of working, we're gonna use dragonflies as a bait here. So now we've got our third setup uh, as an option. So, you know, we can pull it out and we can cast it. We have it set up as a feeder rod right now. The other thing you need though is from the shop, you can already purchase uh, aluminum rod stand double. So I'm going to purchase another one. So we should have two in our inventory because I haven't even thought about trying this. All right, we're going to use this. So we're going to go ahead and drop that there. Now, here's what I haven't tried. Can we also use this one? Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we're going to pull our feeder rod out. We're gonna cast it just down here. We're on the Slovakia map. We're gonna close the bale. And then if you look down at the rod holder, you can hit E and set the rod down. So I guess theoretically, we could also do this with a float rod. I think we already have a fish on, on our feeder. So then we look at our feeder, we pick it up. Let's see if the fish is still on or if we missed it. So in most games, when you're feeder fishing, you get the, oh my goodness. Okay, this might be insane. Did we catch it before the fish was off? Yes, we did. All right, this is realistic mode. So I, I've been playing normal mode recently, so I can't really tell. Oh goodness. Here's one thing that needs to be fixed, by the way. I say it needs to be fixed. The question is, is this working as intended? In other words, should I be able to just run out into the river like that and pick up the fish? I mean, the way the game is set up right now, you can in fact do that. Oh, the set is incomplete. I bet we're out of dragonflies. Uh, I really like dragonfly on this map. By the way, several people offered suggestions on um, on places to fish on this map for spin fishing <laughs> because I'm on, um, realistic mode on this account. I don't have access to, um, to the different teleportation. So anyway, the directions that people gave me in the chat on comments on my, um, last video here. Oh yeah. We got to full cast that is just, it, 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 it wasn't making sense for me. So, um, I'm testing out normal mode now, so probably when I get back to this map, on, when I get to this map on normal mode, I'll be able to try that out a little better. All right. Oh my goodness, we've already got a bite. This is insane. I can't get to it. Is it still on there? No, it's not. All right, let's just cast this out. I don't know if we can keep up with two rods. So not only can we use feeder rods now, We can, um, we can fish with two, two lines at the same time. All right, we need to really be paying attention here. Let's just, oh shoot. Oh, 
Why won't it go away? It's a little buggy on... on putting the rod away. All right, it does seem like... And once again, I think this has to be fixed, right? To be able to just run out and grab it. Uh, I mean, I think that's something's got to give there, right? But anyway, it, I think it seems like the bite rate is so good that I, I just, just about can't keep up with two at the same time. In most games, feeder setups have auto-hooking mechanisms, right? So there isn't the same um, immediacy to get the line like there is with float fishing or spin fishing where you have to set the hook. So I hope that they will add that in this game because if you're going to fish with multiple rods, um, you want that auto hooking mechanism to be present. All right, let's see if we can set this down. I just want to get, get both of them set down. Even if we can't, oh, there's already a fish on. All right, we'll set it down. Even if we can't get to both, miss a bite or whatever. All right, is the fish still on? I don't think it is. All right. What is going on there? All right, we need a view of both. All right, this one definitely has one. So again, it's feeder. You, you want that... Um, you want that auto auto hooking, in my opinion. But this is a game changer for me. In terms of my enjoyment of this game, the fact that we have feeder fishing now and, um, and can fish with multiple rods, that's huge. Uh, there's another nice brown trout. That looks a little funny. E, put, the, put down the rod. All right. Um, so, yeah. So Q is supposed to reset the cast. Maybe that's just in normal mode. I don't know. Here's another question. Can we put the rod down even though it's not cast in the water? Yes, we can. That is cool. All right, let's catch one more fish on feeder here, and then I will go ahead and wrap it up. I really just wanted to demonstrate that not only can we use feeder fishing in this game, but you can fish with more than one rod, which I didn't even realize that before I started the video. It all said hit me like, wait, if you can buy one of these rod, rod holders, maybe you can buy two. And theoretically, if they want to, they eventually could come out with rod holders that can just straight up hold more than one rod at the same time, which would be nice. So dragonfly as the bait, whether using float or feeder, seems to work really well. We are getting bites very quickly on both. So that also gives me a lot of excitement. There's an eye. Because I was already sort of thinking like, oh man, this uh, the map we're testing here, it's gonna be it's gonna be um, spin fishing only. Well that is not the case. Now that we can use feeder and floats working good as well. I think what I will will probably do for the next video um, is I'll set up two feeder rods because float is just, you got to be on top of that strike, right? On float. But if we could have two feeders going at the same time, maybe have one bait like dragonfly that's hitting pretty quick like that. And maybe try another bait that's, that's going a little longer. Um, either way, that is just really cool. And you can see in a very short amount of time, we've made a ton of money. Uh, doing this which is good because we spent a lot of money so we do need to make that money back but anyway this could be a lot shorter video I just wanted to highlight feeder fishing and using these rod holders they're in the game 
I don't know that a lot of us knew about it. I certainly didn't know that they were functional yet. They are now functional. So give it a try if you haven't already. Let's start experimenting with different baits on different maps. Now that we can use feeders. This makes me so much more excited, especially about future weeks when new maps come back. Like, man, I want to be back on that cart map right now, right? Gives us something to work towards. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Tight lines, everybody.